I've got a snake in my boot. <sighs> Tom Hanks there as Woody in Toy Story. Tom Hanks. What do we all think about Tom Hanks? Guys, tell me below what you think of Tom Hanks. What's your favourite film? Who's your favourite character that Tom Hanks has played? Um, one of my favourite films of Tom Hanks is, is Captain Phillips. I thought he was phenomenal as the captain of a sort of cargo ship that was taken over by, um, I think, Somali uh, pirates. Uh, brilliant, brilliant movie. Um, well, uh, we've got... Oh, by the way, if you haven't followed, follow us on the Popcorn Junkies Instagram account where you'll be getting all sorts of movie news as cinemas are reopened, as movies go back into production, as TV dramas go back into production. We're going to be getting much, much busier on the Popcorn Junkies. We're going to be providing more of a film lover's service. So, Greyhound. Some notable things about this film, Greyhound, which stars Tom Hanks. It's going to be available exclusively on Apple TV. I think this is Apple TV's, the streaming platform's, first fully feature-length film. I think it kind of fell into the Apple TV's lap in a curious way. I think it was going to be scheduled for a cinema release. But this isn't Apple TV's first feature film. So it's a big deal for Apple TV. Uh, it's streaming, I believe, from uh, July the 10th. Um, it's directed by a chap called Aaron Schneider. I, I not, don't know too much about him, but it's based on a book called The Good Shepherd by C.S. Forrester. Um, it also stars Stephen Graham, who's obviously one of our absolute, absolute favourites. He was recently seen in The Irishman. Um, and um, also stars Elizabeth Shue. And it's the story of a US Navy commander, played by Tom Hanks, who is um, in command of a multinational escort group defending a merchant ship convoy that comes under attack in 1942 during what's uh, called the Battle of the Atlantic. That's the blurb, that's the description. Um, and this is a portrait of both the battle, I guess, but also Tom Hanks always brings layers of humanity and vulnerability, doesn't he, to any, uh, any part that he plays, really. So I'm assuming that his, his character's slightly, I think it was the first, I think it was the first assignment that his character was given or something like that. So I think we're going to sort of be feeling around his own lack of confidence and him, him having to sort of dig deep and find reservoirs of strength and morale be building, uh, you know, skills for his, his crew and what have you. Um, I love a war movie. I mean, I love a war movie, but they have to be done well. Um, I didn't see, there was a recent one, I can't remember what it was. For example, a good example of a recent one was Dunkirk. Another brilliant recent one was 1917. Um, and I think the danger sometimes is that, you know, my worry going into this is that, you know, how much of the naval battles are going to be CGI'd and all that, because so much of it has to be, uh, and how much of it is it going to is going to feel real. Uh, and there's a difference there. I don't mind CGI if it still allows things to feel real. So let's jump in. It's the new trailer. It's landed, a, I think, a day or so ago. And uh, let's see where it takes us. Let's see where it takes us. Here we go. What are we going to do? We'll bring hell down from on high. On a true story. Congratulations on your first command at last. What a first command? I'll always be looking for you, Evie. Even if I'm a thousand miles away. Air escort to Greyhound. You will now be out of range of air cover for the next five days. How many crossings does this make? This is my first. I got some. Most likely you both. First crossing. He's trying to slip under us! Fire! We have a kill. Distress rocket, sir. Written by Tom Hanks. We have hits directly on the convoy. The wolf bag's haunting us. You don't start her bell! We've lost seven ships and 50 souls. What you did yesterday, got us to today. It's not enough. Fire is in there! 
Voice disappeared, sir. Here they come. Good. What are we gonna do? We'll bring hell down from on high. get that so lots of um the sounds from the soundtrack that i was expecting there lots of those sort of almost underwater vom, 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 vom. quite hans zimmer the old uh, soundtrack there uh the cgi well it's got to be cgi they sure as hell didn't raise all those ships and film that stuff uh but it looked kind of convincing to me and i think what makes it as i thought it would uh sing a little bit more than the sort of general fodder of cgi war movies is tom hanks at the center and there was that one little moment wasn't there how many trips have you done how many trips does that make it just one and then they cut to all of the kind of members of the crew looking nervously at him like oh my god our fates lie in this chap's uh lap um stephen graham looking good there adding yet another accent to his many many accents that he's a, a master of um uh tom hanks looking good um, written by Tom Hanks and I think the written by Tom Hanks tells us something because I can't at this stage see what was must make about it and yet I suppose as soon as you've got Tom Hanks behind the creative wheel writing it you feel you're going to get something a little bit more I mean I always get concerned when the star of a piece has also written it or is in it because you you worry that the whole sort of structure of it is going to be sort of pivoting I mean, obviously, he's the main character, but pivoting a bit too much around his character. Um, so I'll be intrigued to know whether we get a lot of kind of layered stress from the other storylines of the other crew members. That would be nice. Um, but did I see that missile shot? Did you see the missile? Submarine missile hit torpedo, rather. Hit the side of the boat and squeaked to the right. I mean, that's a lucky miss, isn't it? I mean, if that happened to you in the war, you'd feel like you were blessed by God. I don't know about being rained down on from high, being shone down on from high. 